Okay, here we are on page five of normal distribution. Um, I'm not going to do every single problem and every single part of every single problem because some of these are just practicing things that I think you've been exposed to and you already kind of know how to do. So I'm just going to focus on the new part. So we're going to start with number three. The weight of kumquats is normally distributed with a mean of 20 grams and a standard deviation of 0.8 grams. It is known that 15% of the kumquats weigh more than k grams. Find the value of k. So this is kind of inverted from what you're normally used to. You're normally given the, they say, okay, find the percentage of kumquats that uh, weigh between, you know, 0.6 and, you know, 10. But now they're saying, okay, we know uh, that 15% of the kumquats are more than a certain amount. What is that amount? So they're asking the opposite, right? So let's say, let's try to draw a picture of that. Um, first of all, the mean is 20. And the standard deviation is 0.8. So um, each one of these standard deviation lines is 0.8 from the previous line. So this would be 20.8. This would be 21.6. This would be 19.2. This would be 18.4. Okay. Um, okay. So, and 15% of the kumquats weigh more than 15 than k, gram, k grams. We don't know exactly where it is. Actually, we do have a good idea of where it is because we know the 34, 34, 13.5, etc. Um, you know estimate right but you know let's just eyeball it and say it's about here okay so let's say that this is 15 percent okay this is 15 percent so we know that 15 percent are more than k and let's say that this is k we don't know exactly where k is we're just drawing it here so that we kind of can see um where this yellow ranges region ranges from and to Okay, now we're going to use the second dist inverse normal function and we're going to put in certain numbers like we're going to put in 15%, we're going to put in 20, and we're going to put in 0.8. And we're going to put in those three numbers and then it's going to give us K. But there's one uh, tricky thing. Inverse normal function is expecting for you to always give it not the right region. They're expecting you to give it this left region. Okay, inverse normal is like a really, you know, uh, one track function. It doesn't really think. And so it always expects you to give you a region which is negative infinity to a certain number. And you're giving a region that is from a certain number to positive infinity. Right? So that's confusing. So how do you fool the calculator into doing what you want, which is you want to know what k is with 15% to the right, but the calculator wants you to give the amount that's to the left. So what you do is you say, okay, calculator, I'm going to give you the amount to the left instead of the amount to the right. If, I, if the amount to the right is 15%, the amount to the left is 100% minus 15%, 85%, also known as 0.85. So instead of putting... 15%, we're going to put 0.85, okay? So let's fool the calculator into doing what we want. Second dist, we go to inverse normal. We're going to give it three numbers. The first one is the area, which is the probability area, and this we're going to put in 0.85 because it's expecting us to give it the left region, not the right region. The mean is going to be 20, and the standard deviation is going to be 0.8. And that's it. And it gives us 20.8. So it says that K is 20.8. Hey, what do you know? 20.8, that's, that's the number right there. What a coincidence. Okay? All right. So we're going to put uh, that K is equal to 20.8. We might have been able to do this without a calculator almost. So we knew it was close to that because we know that, you know, to the right of there, it's, you know, 50 minus 34. It's about 15%. Okay. It's say actually 0.829, not 0.8, but we only need to get three significant figures, right?
four we're not going to do because it is very similar to the this one that we just did. Okay. Now we're going to move on to number five. The weight of cath is normally distributed with a mean of 4.23 kilograms and a standard deviation of 0.76 grams, kilograms. And so, as usual, we are going to draw a sketch. Even if they don't tell you to do a sketch, which in this case they don't tell you to do a sketch, I want you to do a sketch because it really helps you to understand if you're thinking about negative infinity, positive infinity, left, right, okay? so. I mean, I always draw a sketch, so I hope that you would always draw a sketch. Um, add 0.76 to this, you can use your calculator, I think it's 4.99. Subtract 0.76 from this, and I can't do that in my head. Let's see if we actually need to do that. We'll just leave it like that for now. Write down the weights of the cats that are within one standard deviation of the mean. Oh, so we are going to have to do it, okay? So we're going to do 4.23. Minus 0.76, and that will give us 3.47. So this one's going to be 3.47. Okay, and now what it's asking for is it's saying, hey, give me the cats that are between two, one standard deviation of the mean. So they mean like one standard deviation to the left, one standard deviation to the right. They want us to give the percentage of the cats that are between those two, okay? Or they're just saying, write down the weights of the cats that are within. That, that's pretty easy. They're not even asking us to calculate anything. So we just say, oh, okay, so you're talking about uh, 3.47 kilograms and then uh, uh, to 4.99 kilograms. So they just want to know first, what region are we talking about here? Okay. Uh, then it says a vet weighs 180 cats. So that means that the whole region here has 180 cats. Um, now, you can always predict what they're going to ask, right? They're going to say, how many of the cats are within the red region? And, okay, so it says, find the number of cats that would be expected to be within one standard deviation of the mean. That's exactly what they're asking. They're saying, okay, of these 180 cats, how many are here? Well, if we knew the percentage, it would be easy, but we don't know the percentage yet. Well, we could kind of guess it, right? Because we know that this region here has 34%. This region here has 34%. So, what's the percentage inside the red region? And remember, you could also do this with the calculator, but we, you know, since they're doing standard deviation lines exactly, we already know that that's 68%, right? So we know it's 68% of 180 cats, and that's going to give us the answer for B. So, and remember, if you're going to multiply 180 cats times um, 68%, you're not going to multiply times 68, you're going to multiply times 0.68. Oops, I did it wrong. 0.68. So let's say 122 cats, because it's hard to have 0.4 cats. Okay, um, so that was B. And then I'm skipping these next two. You can do those on your own because I think you're pretty comfortable with that now. It is known that 5% of the cats weigh more than W kilograms. Find the value of W. Okay, so now we're going to draw one more of these um, things here. And so we know that the middle is 4.23. And uh, now we're saying, okay, 5% of the cats weigh more than W. So we got a W here, and 5% is like a very small piece. So let's say like this piece here. So this piece here, let's say it's 5%. So we know that this region is 5%, but we don't know what this dividing line W is. And inverse normal gives us that. If we tell it 4.23 and standard deviation of 0.76, and we tell it a region of 5%, it'll give us W. Oh, wait a second. It doesn't like it when we give it the right region. It actually wants the left region. So what it wants is this region to the left. If we give it the left region, then the calculator can figure out what W is. If we give it to the right region, it doesn't know what to do. Okay? So, if the right region is 5%, then the left region is 95%, right? Or also known as 0.95. So, we're going to give the calculator 0.95, mean of 4.23, standard deviation of 0.76, and then it'll be able to find W. So, we do second dist, we go to inverse normal, we uh, put a region of 0.95, 
because that is the left region. And then we're going to put a mean of 4.23. And then we're going to put a sigma of 0.76. And then we're going to paste and execute. And it gives us a value of 5.48 kilograms. Okay, so weight is equal to, or W is equal to 5.48 kilograms. So 5.48 kilograms and above is what 5% of the cats weigh. So that's a pretty heavy cat. Moving on. Number six. Um, a manufacturer makes drumsticks with a mean length of 32 um, centimeters. So this is 32. The lengths are normally distributed with a standard deviation of one centimeter. Okay. Calculate the values of ABC shown in the graph. Well, it doesn't really say, but I'm assuming that these lines here are standard deviation lines. So since they're separated by one centimeter, if the middle is 32, this Let's say it's 31, this is 30, and A would be 29. Okay, so we'll say that A is 29, B is 30, and C is 31. Let's go on to B. Find the probability that a drumstick has a length greater than 30.6 centimeters. Okay, well, unfortunately, 30.6 is not a standard deviation line. It's kind of like between these two, right? And they want to know the chance that the probability that the drumstick has a length greater than that. So they're talking about this region here, right? Um, so like anything greater than 30.6, which is this pink line here. Um, we know how to do that. In fact, we've been doing that all week, right? So we uh, turn on the calculator and we're going to use the old reliable normal CDF function because what we're going to give it is the left boundary or the lower boundary which is 30.6 and we're going to give it the upper boundary which is positive infinity so 1 double e 99 and then we're going to give the mean in this case which is 32 and we're going to give it the standard deviation which they already have one there and then we just type that in and it gives us 91.9 percent also known as 0.919 um, so the probability is 91.9 percent okay very likely that the drumstick is longer than 30.6 okay last one that I'm gonna do of course you're gonna do them all but I'm just gonna do C. It is known that 80% of the drumsticks have a length less than D centimeters. Find the value of D. Okay, so here we got 32 in the middle, right? And then we know that 80% of the drumsticks have a less less than D. So where's D at? Is it here? Or is it here? Well, if it's 80% is less, then it's got to be like over here, right? So let's say that this is D. And then uh, we're going to mark the area that 80% is so that's that's 80 percent okay so this region is 80 percent and um we're going to find the d that makes that 80 percent so if that part is 80 percent then this part is 20 percent right okay but in this case the calculator wants to have the left region 80 percent so you don't really have to find the right region of 20%. Okay, so to find where D is, 80% or 0 0.80 is what you need to put in the calculator. Plus, you need to put uh, the 32, which is the mean, plus you need to put the standard deviation of 1, and you're going to use the second dist um, inverse normal function. Um, so you can see that, like, it's not going to be really hard. Uh, this unit's test because we only really use two calculator functions and to get to know, know these pretty well if you do all these problems you're going to be pretty comfortable with it hopefully you won't freak out on the test and forget it's pretty easy right so D is 32.8 and this picture always helps to see if you've drawn things or you're working correctly on the calculator because look You've drawn D on the right side of 32 because you suspect it's on the right side of 32. In fact, you know it's on the right side of 32. And so when you get the value 32.8, you can check, hey, is 32.8 to the right of 32? Indeed it is. So you know that 
you have done the calculator operation correctly. If you get something weird, then you know that you did the calculation incorrectly. Okay? So that's it for this page, and I think you can do the rest on your own.